Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got a pound and come shot of me and a haul video. So I'm so excited to do it for you guys because I love these videos so much. And I haven't been to Poundland in a little while now to be honest and I haven't filmed a Poundland video in what feels like a really long time. So I thought we were definitely overdue. I thought you guys could sit back, get a snack, have a little watch and I can share with you what's in Poundland at the minute, all the new and bits and then of course share with you what I got. I won't lie guys, I'm kind of like feeling myself today. I've just had my hair done, I've just curled my hair with my new curlers and I am literally feeling it. I really, really feel myself. I've got some nice makeup on. But as always, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Please, please do subscribe because it's so lovely to have you here and it would be so lovely to have you here for future uploads. I would of course link my socials in the description box as always. My Instagram, my TikTok, everything like that is always linked down below. As always, I'm going to share with you the come shot of me clips first so you guys can see firsthand what's in there and then stay tuned to the second part of the video where I'm going to be sharing with you what I got and I've got some very, very lovely bits. I definitely went on a bit of a makeup spree as well in there and I'm so excited for you guys to see what I've got so without further ado let's get started. We've got loads of random nod stuff here so we've just seen different like shower gels that they've got and like what are these or essential oils they've got a body scrub which is new I've never seen that and a little body butter here and then we've also just spotted these little sleep sprays as well pillow sprays it looks so so nice. Okay, already guys, I found some really nice stuff. They've got a little Maybelline lip pencil. I've also found a little Maybelline brow, like gel brush sort of thing. And I'm just having a little root free because they seem to have loads of really nice makeup. So I'm just rooting through and seeing what I can find. I spotted these foundations that literally give me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. I've decided to pick one up because I think I might test one out in a video. So do let me know down below if you guys want me to do that. But they've also got like little like prime and setting spray. I've also spotted these like new concealers that look really really good for a pound. These powders. I've actually heard from TikTok that this is meant to be an amazing powder with a sponge. So I'm going to pick up one of those. How amazing do these little like nails look? These press on nails. I've never seen them in here before but they look lovely. I love like the nude colour. They've got like little packs. There's like Max Factor double twin packs in there that I think look really good. And now I've seen like actual like rimmel foundations which is so good love the look of these like little like allior brow palettes as well for a pound different like shades and stuff there's a few different ones there and then i've also just spotted these liquid lipstick as well by easy locks i actually got one of these for christmas from my sister and they're really 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 good i'd really highly recommend them and then down here it's just like a little pot of kind of like reduced makeup and stuff just picked up myself one of the little cuticle oils as well because I feel like I really need to start looking after my nails a little bit more so I managed to get one of those for a pound as well literally running out of room can't get over how good some of this makeup looks guys like the fact you can get like rimmel foundations in here is so good and I'm so obsessed with how these look as well I'm really debating whether or not to get the first or the second shade the first shade does look like a bit of me but I don't want to get one that's too light for my skin tone I think the second one looks a bit more pinky tone um, but I think for three pounds they're so good I'm so excited to give them a go love the look of all these like new like vibrant nail polishes seen a little color corrector and um, concealers as well these face masks look really really good as well I've heard of this brand and they're meant to be amazing so I think they're so good for a pound you've got these little bulb light sets them as well that you can put in your garden little antique bulbs what are these like little decorations for garden parties i just literally i think these are so so pretty guys what's this over here like more little things these will look lovely on little gravestones or something so many different things oh little fairy and gnome garden things i love that so cute little fairy houses how adorable if you had a little girl or a boy oh my god Okay, they've got some like little inflatable airbed camping bits. Love these little like camping mugs as well. They're so cool. Little shower proof raincoat. What's this? Cutlery. Okay, loads of holiday stuff. Love it. What's this here? Different like passport protectors, inflatable pillows, tags. What's this down here that I've just seen? antibacterial surface sanitizer oh that's quite good for a pound i like the look of that look at these mini puzzles guys i've just found so they've got like special k and cornflake ones and then pringles which i thought was so funny as like little gifts got like refreshers oh my god these are so funny I feel like i might have to pick them up for some gifts they've got like love heart ones back there or like cover pops ones a bit of me i love it i just think they're really really funny they do loads of like different flavors and boxes i love it so much guys 
never seen these before, so it's like Malibu face cream, um, which is really, really good actually. Like, what a good idea. These have probably been around for ages, but I've never seen them. Instead of using like sun cream on your face, these are like specially for your face. And I think for a pound, like I'm really tempted to get one. We've obviously got all these like little mini ones as well, which I think are like ideal bag size for a pound. You've got like SPF 50, loads of different types. There's like lotion versions, spray versions. I love it. I'm slightly obsessed with all this Barbie stuff, guys. They've got like headbands, bows. I actually really, really like these little scrunchies. I think they're really cute. They've got, I love them. These little like clips. What are these here? Like mini hair clips down there. Look at all this gorgeous home stuff. I always love it. Just seen these like little potted succulent greenery plants here that I love. Like I love the little vase that they're in. Obviously these little like LED lights are cute and these I thought were really sweet as well. I've got a very, very similar one in my room that's black and white, but I've never seen it in this like sage green color before. So I think it's really, really good for a pound. These diffusers, all of these like little candles and stuff. I've never actually tried a pound line candle before. So it'd be really interesting to see what they're like. Ooh. We've got little like wax melts, vanilla crush, plum. Just spotted these vases down here for a pound and I feel like you could definitely do some like DIY project on them um, and make them into something really, really lovely. Like how beautiful are they? Love all of this little stationery as well, like rose gold. It's all so pretty. This little notebook is so nice as well. The little safari animals on it. And then I've just seen all of this like painting stuff as well, which I think is so nice. Like I actually want to buy some for me and my boyfriend to do for fun. Love them to these little faux bouquets, guys. Like how sweet are they with the little wrapping and stuff? What's over here? Okay, some like little paint your own plant pot, gin pots. All this little rainbow like pastel baking stuff as well. I think it's such a vibe. I feel like you can make such a nice little hamper or a gift set with all of these. All these like little letter things, different mugs and jugs, obviously the little soup jars that I love as well, and these little mugs as well, so, so, so nice. Okay, so the first thing I've got um, is the non-makeup item. I thought, let's get that out of the way first, and I decided to get this white storage basket. Now, you guys may remember from a couple of months back where I first saw these in there, and I got a grey one, and I don't actually know where my grey one is. Oh no, my mum's used it for a knitting, that's why. Basically, I had a grey one, um, and I really, really liked it, but I have a lot of grey in my room, of course, you guys are yet to see the room tour and you will see, but I wanted to add some more white to it, so I gave the grey one to my mum and instead I decided to get this white one. Really, really big, it's a really decent size, um, and this was literally only £5, which I thought was really, really good. Probably the most expensive thing I've ever seen in Poundland, but it's definitely worth it, like the quality is really good, it's going to fit a lot in there, and I've bought this just to put some of my hair tools in, because now that I've got my new colours, I have quite a big collection of hair tools, straighteners, um, crimpers, wavers, hair dryers, rollers, so much stuff and I just need a bigger space to keep my stuff in. Um, and one thing that I really really need in this room is storage, hence why you guys know I've got my lovely little storage baskets at the back there. I love a good little storage basket, um, so I just thought this white one was a really really lovely colour. I just thought it was really really good for £5, it's such a good size, I'm going to be able to fit so much in there and I just really really like it. So I decided to get this for £5. And then I got some makeup, um, and I actually got quite a bit, I think I've got six makeup items here. Um, now you guys would have seen from the clips they had some really lovely new and bits for their own like little Poundland makeup brand which is Makeup Gallery but then I also seen some really lovely branded bits as well. First thing I'm going to start with is this one which I'm so excited about and it's the Makeup Gallery Keep On Glowing Illuminating Foundation. So this gave me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. Um, for the Charlotte Tilbury foundation that's like coverage, I don't know why, why can't I think of what it's called? Basically, this gave me the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder foundation vibes, which I have tried before and I have really, really loved. Obviously, it is quite expensive because Charlotte Tilbury, as much as it's a lovely brand, is obviously quite pricey and it's high end. So, when I saw this Keep On Glowing foundation that literally looks the same, I was like, for £3, I'm gonna have to get it. It looks absolutely lovely. Even like the packaging, like the beige, pink, rose gold, vibe like it's really really giving me Charlotte Tilbury feels. Um, I'm gonna just take the cellophane off this because I'm really interested to see 
Oh my god, guys, it literally, like, is so similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is crazy. It was obviously part of their new makeup range, and they also had a new setting spray as well, which I didn't get, because, if I'm honest, I don't use setting spray that much. I think I've got, like, three or four already in my collection, and I just don't really use them enough, so I didn't decide to get one of those. Um, so I got mine in the shade 6 Olive, which I think is meant to be the lightest shade, unless I've picked up the darkest shade by mistake. I really, really hope I haven't. It's 30ml, which is exactly the same as the Charlotte Tilbury one. One, and I just absolutely loved the look of this like it might not be very good but I've just got a really funny feeling that this is going to be an ultimate dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation which if it is I will keep you guys posted even kind of tempted to give this a go on video let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like me to test this out maybe I could do like a Poundland makeup testing video and I'll test this particular foundation um, and I can make all the products from Poundland and we can do like a proper makeup testing video see what it looks like on my skin because I would absolutely do that if you guys want me to do that do let me know down below and I will hold off using this even though I'm so excited. I love the fact it is a illuminating foundation as well. It makes me think it's going to be super glowy and dewy which is exactly what I go for in a foundation. You guys know that I love like NARS Sheer Glow and the Body Shop one. I love a glowy foundation that gives like a decent like light to medium coverage so I feel like this is definitely going to be for me um, and yeah three pounds I thought was super super good so I can't wait to give this one a go. Next thing I decided to get was also from the makeup gallery section and this is the Smoothly Does It press powder now i've heard some amazing things about this powder it went viral on tiktok that this girl said it was genuinely one of the best powders she's ever used and whenever i go to poundland it's always sold out i have tried this and it's insane i've got it on today um and i love it honestly my under eyes look like airbrushed i can't even like i cannot rave this to you enough literally a pound and it's the best powder i've ever used i have tried high-end i've tried mac i've tried huda beauty i have tried laura mercier and this is the best one i've ever found honestly guys give it a go for a pound i decided to get another one because i wanted to stock up and i'm literally obsessed i got this in the shade translucent one which is the first shade that they do they had a few different ones some of them are pigmented as well which is really really nice um i might even go back in at some point and get a pigmented one for when i'm tanning because obviously i've got a bit of fake tan on on today um but i'm not as dark as i go sometimes so i might even get like a darker shade for when i need it this cannot rave about this powder enough to you guys it's so good please 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 if you're on poundland go and get it and just give it a go because i love it i do apply it with a sponge and um, that's one thing i will say i've not tested it with a brush but with a sponge it is amazing like it's so so good then i decided to get a lip liner also from makeup gallery so this is the it out one and i got this in the shade soft rose number five um i'm just gonna draw like a little bit on my hand so you guys can see um but it's just like a really gorgeous like um, muted pink colour and I just love a good lip liner but I do find that lip liners are one of those things that I don't really care if they're like amazing quality I just like them to like line out my lips and make them look a little bit bigger so I never really like opt for like high-end lip liners this one is good enough for me they've got some really lovely colours and definitely want to go back and get some more I think this is such a beautiful colour it's going to go with a lot of my lipsticks I feel like this is definitely going to pair well with my Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury lipstick like it's a very similar shade um but I just absolutely love them and again can't go wrong for a pound I then got a lip liner um, but it's actually from Maybelline this is one of their branded section ones so this is the Maybelline color drama color show lip crayon um, and this is in the shade 605 now I couldn't quite wait for the video guys so I have tried this and it is so so good it's a beautiful color again I'm just gonna like swatch it on my hand it's like a really nice nude sometimes the Poundland branded stuff don't have the best shades um, in terms of lipsticks and stuff I mean sometimes I've seen like gold in there and purple and things aren't really for me so when I've seen this I of course had to get it um, but I just thought for a pound this is so so good I'm pretty sure you can still pick these up in like Boots and Superdrug um, but I just love the colour so much like I said it's in the shade 605 and it's just a really really gorgeous new colour so I was very very happy to find this in there I then decided to get this Rimmel lipstick um, which I also found for a pound and this is the shade 120 You're All Mine I haven't actually tried this yet but it's a really lovely pink colour again I'm pretty sure they still sell these lipsticks sticks and it's just a really nice little pink color um as you can see all of the things i've got are slightly different shades which is really really nice the great thing i found with poundland is that you can find so many makeup products and because they're so cheap you don't mind getting a few um and it just means i can have a few different new shades to play about with with my makeup and stuff um but i just really really love it and this lipstick 
smells really really nice as well like it smells i can't explain it like real lipsticks to me have a really distinct smell and i really really like it, it kind of reminds me of like apples or something and then the final thing i got was also from a makeup gallery and it is the well polished cuticle oil um so i have been taking a bit more care when it comes to my skin at the minute every time i'm trying to like moisturize daily sometimes twice a day um and i feel like my nails are quite brittle and they're not the strongest so i decided to pick up this cuticle oil just to kind of look after them a little bit more i could obviously get a much better one i'm sure like i'm sure i will invest in a better one at some point but i have never used cuticle oil and i just thought for a pound it was really really good it just looks like it would be a good one and i love the nail polishes that makeup gallery do they do so many lovely colors and again i just think they're really 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 good for a pound so that was everything i got from poundland i know this was a slightly smaller haul because i was including a lot of makeup items but at the minute obviously there's not really anything big coming up so poundland do just have a, quite a lot of their basic stuff so i am absolutely shook with their makeup and I'd really really highly recommend you guys go and check it out but I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway if you did do remember to give it a big thumbs up um, and of course subscribe like I said before because it's so lovely to have you here and thank you so much for watching my video and hopefully I will see you all very very soon in the next one bye